Hi, this is Dan at Pico America, and today I'm going to show you how to insert a new locomotive or the locomotive information into your Smart Control Light system. With Smart Control Light, obviously we can control the local we have on the tracks from here. But let's say we have another locomotive. Let's say our other locomotive is a steam locomotive. To make sure we don't program this local on, ac on accident, I think it's always best to take it off the tracks. As we go to a close-up cam, you can see what I'm doing here. If you push the mode button, you see on the screen a nice digital readout that gives you options of other things to do. Since we want to create a new locomotive in the system, say it's a steam locomotive we have, we're allowed to create a new locomotive. Change loco data says number five. So let's go ahead and say loco number five. The screen says mode is cancel and you can use the arrows to clear or the enter symbol here. Pushing down on the big red button allows you to get to the next screen. If you want to program a new loco address, you push button number one. Say the steam locomotive's address is seven. So we enter zero seven and hit the enter button at the bottom and now our address is entered. Say this locomotive, we want to choose a symbol. So we push number two, and it tells us the up and down arrow will change the symbols. And we can see that is the case. There's tons of icons in here, but let's just say it's a small uh, steam locomotive. We hit enter when we get the local we want. Loco name, we push button three. And then we're allowed to change. It says pushing down the throttle, will change cursors and the dial knob helps you get to things faster. So in this case we had already pre-programmed pre SF for Santa Fe number 722 so let's go ahead and show you as we turn the dial knob we go up as we push down we hit enter. If you want to start over you can save over data and the dial knob works both directions. There's even some extra characters in here. We can skip over other numbers and then let's just say we're going to go ahead and enter 722 again Two, push down and it highlights we got to the end of what we wanted and now we hit enter we can change function icons as well but that's not something we need to do for today all we need to do for today is save our information and head back to the screen so as you can see from this screen if we want to just stick with this and leave it at the basics, we can hit the enter button and head back to our main screen. Since we were controlling this locomotive here, it's still on address three. So we want to choose again loc, and we're going to go loc address number seven for the new steam loco we created. And now we have a screen ready to control whatever that locomotive is and all of their function buttons as well as speed. That's all there is to it. A basic loco is already in the system.